So, game show time. Here's what's going to happen. The rules of the game are, it's going to be Team Too Tall against Team Weird Beard. Brian's going to keep score. Brian is this gentleman here. He was going to be casted as Captain America had Chris Evans not been casted. <laughs> it's the truth. Nice. He's got the hair. Now, the rules are simple. I have ten questions written out for each individual. He who answers the most questions correctly will win a prize of the grandest nature. Something that will affect their lives, change their lives, and improve their lives for the rest of their lives. Wow. All right. <clears throat> we are going to start with ten questions. For Mr. Fountain Pende, a.k.a. Too Tall, a.k.a. Carrie. <sighs> <laughs> question number one. Now, the rules I forgot to say are simple. You have to answer the question. Bart, you're going to count five seconds. He has five seconds before it's considered wrong. We're going to know that he has five seconds because at the end of five, five seconds, you're going to do the ant noise. Really loud and obnoxiously. Bah. Right? All right. Once I'm done, that's when the countdown starts. You understand? Okay. Carrie's Game Show question number one. What year did the Montegrappa Company release the Fortuna Blue Blazer? Go. Was it 2017 or 2018? 2017. That is incorrect. Oh, we got that one. <laughs> Number two. Montegrappa <laughs> used to make pens out of a resin composed of formaldehyde and casein. What was that resin called? Go. Cellulose. That is incorrect. The correct answer is galolith. Number three. You want to get that one, Brian? <laughs> oh, man, I love this pen boy really quick. Just so you know, formaldehyde is the stuff that makes dead things look less yes. dead, whereas casein is a protein that comes from the milk of any creature that has boobs. And they mix it and it creates a resin that's very sturdy. It was very cheap and it was used back in the day. Number three. Which family had the majority of shares of the Montegrappa brand in the year 1921? Aquila. Mm. That is incorrect. The correct answer is the Marzotto family. <laughs> Number four. Marzotto. As a result of the scarcity of natural raw materials during World War II, such as gold and silver, what did Montegrappa use to make nibs? Steel. Mm. That is incorrect. <laughs> the correct answer is glass. Wow. Interesting. Wow, really? Wow. Yes. Are these questions or are we learning? <laughs> we'll learn. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> Number five. Who are the current owners of the brand Montegrappa today? Giuseppe Aquila. That is correct. The Aquila family. Ooh. Do I get bonus six. points for, uh, <laughs> for an extra? Why did you tell me? <laughs> Number six, in the year 2001, what company owned the Monte Grappa brand? Oh, uh, uh, Richemont. Very good, the Richemont group. Number seven, in what year did the Aquila family reacquire the Monte Grappa brand? After the Richemont group. Oh, Get five three. seconds on this. Oh, oh, three? That is incorrect. The correct answer is 2007. Number eight, name another Italian pen manufacturer brand distributed by Kenro Industries that starts with the letters A U R and end with O R A. Not sure he's getting this one. I don't know about that one. Is this to make sure I get at least one right? <laughs> Aurora. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case he gets them all wrong, as he did. <laughs> we don't even know what my question is going to be. Yeah, like two more, but. Two more. Let's Number start. nine. And strong. The Montegrappa Fortuna Copper Mule is a pen made of what metal? Wow, I'm getting two rings of uh, copper. Very good. Copper, well the done. correct well answer. Done. 
Was that four? Number one. ten. One more. Oh, if one you more. get this one wrong, one more, one more. you are genuinely stupid. <laughs> Who is the founder <laughs> of the day known as Fountain Pen Day? Carrie Yeager. Very good, Carrie Yeager. <laughs> we have a total right. number He's correct. fifty percent. Fifty percent, five correct. Started off ugly. Five. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Some intense questions. We are moving on. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. To Ryan's questions. Again, he who answers the most questions out of ten wins. Ryan's game show questions. Number one. What was the brand name of Jean-Pierre Rompal's instrument that was lost to him before he moved on to the 14 karat gold instrument made by William S. Haynes? Pass. That would be incorrect. <laughs> it is not pass. It is the <laughs> wrong game show, man. <laughs> wow, interesting. What movie featured a statue of Korean Jesus? You know this. Also pass. <laughs> Great answer is 21 Jump Street. <laughs> I never saw that movie. What? Don't Number three. It. What is Tom Odo's favorite color? Oh boy. Oh, man, come on. It's definitely blue. That is correct. It is blue. Ooh. It is a blue Ojiva. That I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On what date? Did the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review Channel launch the very first review on a fountain pen? What date? I'm gonna say January 7th, 2018. That is incorrect. The correct answer is December 14th, 2017. Ah, that was pretty close. You did that, right, Karen? Absolutely. You're just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Mine better start to get easy. <laughs> Number five. What is the name of the composer who composed the theme music for the hit TV show, The X-Files? I can hum it. Pass. <laughs> the correct answer is Mark Snow. <laughs> Number six. Surprise, surprise. What year did Ludwig van Beethoven meet Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? 1918. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, Carrie's it's automatically won, right? No, you gotta roll four. Oh, oh no, I'm screwed. Uh, the correct answer is 1780. Can I answer some of Carrie's questions? 2018 on the blazer. Uh, number seven. What is what is fossilized poop called? Fossilized poop. I feel like I should know this one. I know what that poop is called. And the correct answer, you ran out of time, is wow. coprolite. Oh, I wouldn't have got that one. Number eight. If I didn't know, I think this game show is rigged. <laughs> Carrie, That's Carrie, Carrie, Yeager. Carrie Yeager, what is your name? <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. What three elements are necessary for successful heat transference? Water. <laughs> that is incorrect. The correct answers are conduction, convection, oh. and radiation. Which one did he get right? <laughs> Number nine. What temperature in Fahrenheit is the cosmic background temperature in outer space? Fahrenheit, I'm going to go... Uh... 30. That is incorrect, sir. The correct answer is negative 455 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Number 10. I'm still going? This is unfair, <laughs> Pembroke. Right? Number 10. One more. Come on. What Finish children's strong. cartoon starring chipmunks shares a name that is also the name of a male strip club? Chip and Dales. Yeah. Very good. Well, you knew that? <laughs> that he set me up here. <laughs> 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 Okay, so how many correct versus how many incorrect? Well, 20%, 50%. Now, I'm fair. I do know that your questions were a little bit unpen related. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys both the grand prize. And the grand prize is you both get a lifetime subscription to the Penboy Boy Fountain Pen Review oh. Channel. <laughs> 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 okay, and that's all we have in store for everybody today. Once again, Thanks, Brian. Put the camera on Brian's handsome face. Thank you, Ryan. Camera on Ryan's beard. I like to call it the weird beard. And 
of course, Kerry Yeager, Mr. Fountain Pen Day himself. Thank you guys for having me here. I had such a great time. I can't wait to do this again. We should do this again and... Absolutely. Over here, over here, over here, to me, to me. This is my show, right here. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up when it's on me. Don't ever make that mistake again. Thank you once again for watching. Love you guys. Be well. 